Hey, 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 welcome back to the car. Second, my name is Jimmy Prater. I'm a car closer. That's what I am. I close and close and close. I close car deals. Close them and gross them. Whoa. Whoa. Gross them. How dare you talk about gross, car sharker? How dare you want my salespeople to make money, dealer? You know what? You're advertising your vehicles at invoice. What do you expect? You're losing money on used cars. What do you expect? You're allowing the salespeople to talk about price. What do you expect? Salespeople, closers, listen up. When you talk price, you talk yourself out of gross. When you talk price, you're not a closer. Closers never talk about price. But it's not your fault because you're being trained by powder sugar trainers and powder sugar management. That this is the direction they want you to take to sell a car. That direction's wrong. They say car sharkers been saying, saying stuff that's old school. Perfect. Because that works. Perfect. 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 But you know what? Continue to talk price. And you'll be considered a giveaway artist. You're not a closer. See, closer can paint a picture for a customer. Whether you're talking about the product or you're talking about the figures, a closer paints a picture. If you're talking about the product and you paint the picture to that product, it's a called a storyline. And you got to give that storyline to the next customer, the next customer, the next customer. And every time you get into the customer, you'll get better at that storyline. You know what that storyline is because only you can tell it. It's got to be something kind of personal so you can talk about it and articulate it and reference it to the car that you're selling. When you're getting into the figures, that's a whole nother ball of wax. Because when you're talking figures, it's another storyline. So you got two storylines. And closers who close on the figures should be able to articulate the nuts and bolts of a lease. They should understand the anticipation deduction versus the residual value and articulate it to a customer because you know what? Customers are not that smart. They shop you and shop you and shop you, okay, whatever. But they're not that smart. They've already committed to purchase the vehicle because they got closed on it by the salesperson, by the salesperson who's a closer. If you don't understand the interest automobile purchase program, you have no reason to be talking figures. The same thing with a lease. If you don't understand the nuts and bolts, you got no, no business in there. Talk to a customer about a lease. You got to be able to talk and articulate the figures. And you got to be able to paint that picture. I'll tell you what can really kill a deal and kill, kill a buzz in the sale. Is when the salesperson takes it to the desk. They take their deal to the desk. And they get humiliated. If you are, are humiliating the salesperson. Salesperson listen up. If you are being humiliated. It's okay to knock them out. Knock their ass out. It's never right to disrespect a salesperson under any, any circumstance. You motivate them. And if you don't know how to motivate them, get the hell out of the business. You got to know how to motivate. And you got to train. If you're one of the managers that says, hey, we'll train this guy that we just hired if we think he's going to work out. It doesn't work like that. And you don't train them on powder sugar training methods. If you're training them on powder sugar training methods, listen, salespeople, if you're being trained by a powder sugar, you're never going to be a closer. Oh, the car sharker talks, oh, it's old school, old school closing. Oh, old school, huh? <laughs> what works? What works? Being a giveaway artist? 
talking price out of the gate? What works? See, they, a lot of dealers are paying more attention to training salespeople on dealer fees than they are on the gross. Salespeople get paid off from gross. Salespeople want to make money. You're selling a lot of cars right now, but you're not grossing. Salespeople are working harder, selling more cars, but they're not making them more money. That's because they don't have a closing process. And if you don't have a closing process, how in the hell are you going to make gross? I'm not talking about your sales process that they, oh, this is meet and greet the customer and put them in the system and, and massage the customer. Screw that. I'm talking about having the killer instinct right out of the get-go to go and cro gross a customer. And what part of that don't you understand? Because if you think that that's old school, I got something for you. I got an application to McDonald's. That's where you need to be. It's not that hard. Flipping a burger, getting the french fries out of the grease or not? I mean, that's, that's, come on. But here's the problem we got. Got a problem that we don't care about salespeople anymore. That's the problem. They don't respect you, salespeople. If you're not making money, they don't respect you. That's the problem. That's an issue. And it's time for you to up and leave. It's time for you to go because if they don't want to train you at closing, if they don't want you to make money, if you're not making money, you got to leave that store that you're at. Now, salespeople, closers, do yourself a favor. My name is Jimmy Prater. Go close something. Yeah.